In this video, we're going to implement rendering about group details on the group's pro profile page. For this, we're going to add a new tab, about group tab. Now, let's commit everything. And basically, the single comment message will be uh, create um, dedicated post page. Good. Okay, one thing what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to close everything, is that on a group profile page, if we open this in incognito, we are able to see the group. Um, we don't see the posts, obviously. But I also want to see um, not only cover and avatar and the name of the group, but about as well, because about generally I will have more information is about text about what the group is or what are the rules, for example, of the group. So I'm going to open group slash view. And um, where's this about? This is photos. About. Which is only visible if the current user is admin, which is not what I want. So I'm going to remove this. But I want tab panel or about. This is it. Okay, so now the about tab will be displayed, but Yeah, and it is still opening uh, this form, which is something um, which should not happen. So what I'm going to do right now is just write a template okay, if, if the current user is admin, then we're going to display this form and submit button. And we're going to have else case uh, in which case we are going to display the group name or maybe we just need to display the group about because the name is right here okay we just need I'm going to provide vhtml this is going to be group dot uh, body I think it's called body Okay, let me close this and provide some description. This is, by the way, um, standard text area. We can change this into rich text editor as well. But what we can write here, some rules, for example, and we can just write rule one, rule two. So this is going to work as well. No need for rich text editor at the moment. Okay, and we can have some questions as well. Uh, test question and so on. So you get the idea. So I'm going to hit on submit, uh, which which is not implemented, by the way, or is it? Group was updated. Okay, it is implemented. Great. And if I reload. It stays there. Now let's open this in incognito and go in the about. We don't see anything. Why I don't see anything? Let me just print the entire group. We have group about. We don't have body. We have about. Cool. Okay, but this is written on a single line. This is not what I want. Well, let's go in the group controller. And we need to find this update. We get this validated data. After which 
we have a valid date result. Fade past validation. Okay. This is what we want. I think I have used this somewhere. Let me search for this past validation. Let me minimize this and let's open ChatGPT and ask. I want to modify my about data in a form request class class in Laravel. Can I use past validation method for this? Okay, we get this validated data, then we replace this about, and then we um, replace this back. So let me copy this part. We get this, uh, instead of str to upper, we need, we need nl to br. So basically I'm gonna convert all new lines into br tags, and then I'm put the data back and whenever the group is updated or created, I think we need to do this in the uh, create as well. Uh, then we will have BR tags there. This is incognito. Let's open. Where is the browser? Let's close this. Okay, let me hit an update and now let's open this in incognito. Then about that didn't get updated. Let's check in the database. Okay, why was it wasn't updated? Date group request. Let me print entire data. Hit on submit. We get this entire data. We see these BR tags there. Okay, and if I check in the database. I don't see this BR tags there. That is strange. When we get these data, request validated data. We don't have it replaced. Okay, uh, I want to find this out in, in the documentation because this is something um, that didn't work previously. Uh, for a request form request validation. Okay, create form request, perform additional validation. This is called inside after. Okay, let's have a look in this table of contents. Working with the validated input. Conditional adding rules, validating arrays, validating files, custom validation rules. I want something else. 
preparing input for validation. Uh, let's try this. I think we can do this before validate as well. Prepare for validation. We're going to get this about and we're going to call uh, nl2br. We don't need this past validation. Let's remove it. And let's test this. Uh, did it work? Yes, this worked. If I open right now this in incognito and open the about page, we see now these rules and questions are everything there. Okay, great. This is what we wanted, actually. However, I need to also find out why this past validation does not work. If I search for past, normalize any request date after validation is complete, you may use the val past validation. Okay, uh, I'm going to try to find this out. So I'm going to do this replace and provide about to be something. Then we can go in the group controller and I will print what is the request validated data. So if I try to update this, I see about... This does not work. Let's remove this. So I'm basically replacing about content with something. Hmm. This is really weird. Laravel past validation not working. Okay, let's see if there is some issue regarding this past validation because it is not working as it should work. Okay, um, I'm just looking for the answer which has a number of upvotes. This has only one upvote. This is the question itself. Let me check this right here. Past validation. Okay, I'm trying to implement a cast method in a form request just after validation using pass validation method. Everything looks work, but the cast made in pass validation don't appear in request validated, but is visible in the request all. Okay, so this is request all before validation. This is request validated. This is request all. We can see request all after the validation that has the cast is well executed on the phone field, but why doesn't appear in request validated?
because that was not the value that was validated. Also, why do you have running console? Change? Okay, this is a different thing. Uh, does this basically mean that if you modify the validated data and then after pass validation you want to how you can normalize then what's the purpose um, of this not this but this that's strange I didn't get this. Um, does this actually mean that if I change something in the past validation, it will not be affected because it was already validated? Then what's the purpose of past validation? Can I add like something, some new values there? If I hit on submit, new values are not also added there. I cannot modify and existing values if I try to replace name doesn't get replaced then what's the purpose of pass validation I have no idea this replace doesn't seem to be working there anyway this is what we want and this is working exactly as we want so if I say this right now, we have this PRs added. Uh, let's remove this from here. And thus we see that the group is updated. And on incognito, we see that details here as well.